Today, my girlfriend goes insane. My head almost explodes. And I stroke my shaft. So this is the part where I'm stroking my shaft. What's good? It's the Hunter off the back with insane content! In this video, we're gonna fix things on my girlfriend's mini again. I wonder why. Here's what happened. Alright, so after ordering some new parts, after a kind request of my girlfriend, we're gonna install some new wheel bearings, and we're also gonna replace the rear brake discs as they're pretty worn out. So LET'S DO THIS! Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see or hear this, but this is why the wheel bearings are worn out. Alright, so that, together with the grinding noise, made me sure that the wheel bearings were worn out. And my girlfriend too. So as we would need to remove the axle nut, we're gonna drop the car down again, and then loosen the axle nut before lifting it up again. Alright, so first we're gonna lower the car again. There we go. Alright, so now we would need to find a way to undo this axle nut. So I'm gonna try a punch to see if we can hammer it out again. We're gonna replace the axle nut anyway, so. All right, that'll do. See, that should work. All right, so with the 32, we're gonna loosen this one. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna lift the car up again and remove the wheel. All right, so I've got some tools, so I had to reassemble everything again, get back home, get some tools, and now we're back. That's why the car is now wet. Anyway, so we're now gonna remove the wheel. There we go. So before undoing the brake caliper, I wanted to show you the play on the wheel bearing. Yeah, that's not necessarily safe. So first we're gonna spray these bolts in with some WD-40. So then we're gonna loosen the brake caliper with the 16 millimeter. Oh, there we have it. Oh, finally. Those bastards are on there tight. Brute force, baby, brute force. So that's one. Oh, that's two. Jesus. And that's two. So now we're gonna hang this caliper on the strut, like so. All right, so now we're gonna remove the brake disc. Oh, there we go. That did the trick. There we go. So first we're going to undo the axle nut so that we can push the drive shaft a bit inwards so that we can create some space to remove the bearings. Yeah, hi, this is me from the future. So the next step would be to remove these bolts, but unfortunately these bad boys were extremely corroded and rounded, so I was unable to remove them. With that in mind, let's continue the video. 
All right guys, so it's totally not another day. This is totally not the other side of the car. I had a bit of an issue on the other side of the car. So for the sake of content, I'll just continue on this side of the car. So we'll pick up where we left off, which was around this part of the process. First, we're gonna remove this axle nut so that we can push the axle a bit backwards, like so. Well, here goes nothing. Yes. All right, that's one. That's two. There we go. And that's four. Yes. All right, so now I have removed all of them. Let me show you real quick. You can see over there, over there, over there. All right, so the next step would be to remove this wheel bearing. So this is now loose. Um, obviously it's, well, rusted on, corroded on quite, quite firmly. You're not gonna get this loose by hand. So with the help of our friend, the hammer, we're gonna go ahead and try to loosen this. Well, that is quite stuck on there. Oh, finally it's going. Finally, there we have it. That thing was stuck on there. All right, so now we're gonna clean this area up and then we're gonna reassemble the wheel bearing. So this is the part where I'm stroking my shaft. All right. Then uh, definitely for the next guy, a bit of any C's, if that car if he ever he if he or she ever makes it all right so time for the new bearing as you can see you would need to take note of the orientation as these are not perpendicular to each other so i believe this goes like so like so then it's a matter of putting these four bolts in. Then we're gonna tighten them in a star pattern so that the wheel bearing sits in its place in the hub. So now we're gonna torque them down. The torque spec would be 20 Newton meters at first and afterwards an additional 90 degrees. One. Uh, okay. Yep. That's 90. Ugh. Oh, that's 90. Whew, that was tough. All right, so that's our wheel bearing remove. Uh, so that's our wheel bearing installed. Feels very good, feels very tight. Doesn't make a noise as well. So then we're gonna reinstall the brake disc. A bit of NECs. All right, so then for the brake rotor, I'm gonna lock it in place with this screw again. So then we're gonna reinstall the brake caliper again. Reinstall again. So we're gonna install it again or reinstall it, but not reinstall again. And torque these down to 110 Newton meters. So then we're gonna install the new locking nut. For now, we're gonna do it hand tight. We'll fully torque it down when the car is on the ground again. All right, so let's pop the wheel back on. All right, so we're first gonna lower it down. Then we're gonna to torque the axle nut to 182. And then finally, we'd need to make an indent here to lock the nut in place. All right, so next up, we're gonna replace the rear brake discs. First, we're gonna take off the wheel. So you've seen me do that before, so let's skip that part real quick. All right, so next up, we're gonna remove the brake caliper. There are two 13 millimeters holding it down. So we're gonna undo these bolts right now. All right, so first some WD-40. So then there's one up here. That's one. And that's two. So we're gently gonna tap this brake caliper off the brake disc. There we go. 
So we're gonna let this caliper rest on here. So now we're gonna remove the brake disc. There we go. So we're gonna give this a quick clean. All right, so before assembly, we're first gonna put on some anti-seas. Then we're gonna install the new brake disc, which I have already decontaminated. So now we're gonna depress the brake cylinder so that it fits back on the brake disc. So to do so, we're first gonna disassemble the brake caliper. We're gonna start by removing this clip. Jeez. Well, I'm not, I'm not able to get this clip out. We'll just put it to the side then. So then we're gonna remove these guide pins over here. First gonna remove the cover. There's one. And there's two. Then with a seven millimeter Allen key, we're gonna remove these guide pins. Uh, finally. Uh, there we go. Leverage, baby. All right, so finally I have removed the guide pins. So I can now disassemble the brake caliper like so. Oops. All right, so this allows us access to depress the brake cylinder. All right, so we're back. I got this. This is a tool with which you can decompress a brake cylinder. So these two notches should line up in two of those four notches. That's the notches lined up. So now it should be a matter of turning this thing in order to compress the brake. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. We're actually compressing it by spinning it. I think that'll do. So now we're gonna undo it again. So as you can see, I have realigned the boot of the brake cylinder again. So now it's a matter of putting everything back together. And then a matter of putting the wheel back on. Shout out to PowerFlex. All right, so, um, uh, yeah, um, off camera, I did torque everything down to spec. Um, yeah, you, you don't want to mess with brake components or wheel components or whatever. I mean, you wouldn't want anything to happen to your abusive girlfriend, right? Uh, your girlfriend, right? Then for the other side. So let's tidy everything up and call it a day. That was it! Guys, it was a dirty job, but somebody had to do it. Well, it was either my girlfriend or me. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me do next. In the meantime, cop yourself some insane merch to help a ginger out. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time! Alright, so after ordering some new parts, after a kind... After a kind request of my... After a kind request... After a kind request of my... After a kind request? After a kind... After a kind request of my girlfriend...